Hi guys, it's Carissa, and as you may or may not know, I am a big fan of lip products. I think anybody who's into beauty products in general can really appreciate a lip product, whether it's something very basic or something very dramatic. So this is kind of fun for me, but I found it incredibly challenging. Something that I definitely had to do was run downstairs and grab my purse because obviously the things that you love the most are going to be in your purse and with you when you're not at home. Sorry about my little, like, weird forefather's curl ponytail going on here. I, I don't... <sighs> Number one, favorite balm or treatment. Um, to be honest with you, I would love to say that I have some fancy lip treatment that I use, but my favorite is really just this Carmax. This is the Moisture Plus, and it is the Ultra Hydrating Lip Balm. It does have SPF 15, and I just think the formula is perfect for me. Number two, best eye catching red. Hands down, this was the one that I thought of because honestly, there's barely anything that is this red that I can get away with wearing, in my opinion. I feel like I have, my mouth is too crooked, my teeth are too many different colors. I just can't pull off a really bold, bright, like Gwen Stefani or Marilyn Monroe red lip. Except for when I'm wearing this. For some reason, there is some magic potion about this product. This is, in America, it is called The Show Off, but I think it is Apocalypse in the UK. I think they're still available. I hope they are still available. Number three, best luxury and best drugstore. Um... I'm gonna stick with lipsticks for both of these. Currently, my favorite luxury lipstick is this super fun... Oh, look at that container. This super fun Kat Von D lipstick. It is the Studded Kiss lipstick in the color Lovecraft. And this is... It's a really... Oh, I love the way it smells. It's a really dry formula, and it wears an awful lot like MAC lipstick and smells an awful lot like MAC lipstick. Um, but it is a color that I feel like... I'm wearing it right now, but I have gloss over it. And I feel like it's understated, but it really... I don't know impresses me. I feel like I don't know what to say about that. Best drugstore lipstick, in my opinion, there's a really good chance that this is a contender for one of my favorite lip products that I've ever used before. And that's a big deal to say that. What I am talking about is this $2 lipstick by Wet n Wild. This is the color 902C Bear It All. And this is a perfect nude lipstick for me. I think that this is a perfect shade. Um, it goes on really nicely. In fact, the formula is great, so if you don't like this color, which, if you don't, I think you need to try it again, but I'm just saying. Um, if you don't like this color, you probably still love the formula, and it's well worth trying a few different colors because it's only $2. Number four, best MAC lipstick. This, now... Honestly and truly, this is, if I had to pick one Desert Island lip product, this is my favorite lipstick. And this is Jubilee by MAC. This is a luster formula, and this is so shiny and such a perfect color, and it's so comfortable, wearable. Oh, love it. That, that's my favorite. Number five, the most disappointing. When I looked in my lip products bin, I thought, why in the world. Do I still own that? And I guess I just maybe needed a moment like this to send it off um, in a beautiful way. I really should just return something if, when I hate it this much, but I'm really bad about that for some reason. And so I always feel like I need to give another chance and give it another chance and then there goes the return policy timeline. This is the Josie Marin Argan Luscious Lips Hydration Plus Shine. I don't really mind that big, like, over lacquered porn star lip look. Or the feel of it. None of that. I think it's... I, I love it. However, my beef is with the consistency of this and how it smells. The smell, it's almost like it's gone bad. Even if I put a very, very thin layer of this on my lips, I feel like it melts and starts to seep down past my lip line. And then I look like I'm drooling. And it's not worth it for how bad it smells that there is a possibility that this has some kind of benefit for the skin on my lips. Number six, liner, yes or no? Most of the time I will say no. Um, I have to be really in the mood for it or wearing something that I feel like, I don't know. I have lip liners. I just don't use them 
most of the time. However, I have one that I feel like I wouldn't count it as a lip liner, but it is one. I have really jagged edges on my lips. I mean, honestly, my bottom lip, I think, is looks worse right now because I was picking at it earlier. So I like to apply this lip liner. This, for some reason, is the one that is the best shade for me to do this with. And this is Naked by MAC. And I just kind of scribble it all along the edge of my lips on the outside, like right on the line and a little bit outside, and then blur it with my fingers. And then I can do pretty much whatever I want with my lip product because it doesn't affect... Um, you know, it doesn't look like I did a bad job putting it on because my lips are so crooked. So see, this spot here that I was picking at, I could just kind of do that with it, you know? It's kind of like a concealer for my lips. Number seven, best gloss. I'm going to tell you that I love this product so much. I feel like everybody needs to try it. If you ever get the opportunity to buy Mineral Fusion products, I don't know what any of the other line, the rest of the line is like, but I hope this is considered a hero product of theirs because it looks like kind of boring, right? It looks like big deal. This is one of the shiniest, most like slippery and fun lip glosses to wear. It just feels like a treat to have it on my lips. And it also looks really nice, especially out outdoors in the sun. I think it looks awesome. And it smells like fruit punch. What's not to love about that? Number eight, something extra. I feel that I must bring up the NYX Butter Glosses because I do have several of them, which it really is a testament to how much I loved the first couple that I bought because I obviously kept going. And they, they all smell good, like baked goods or something. They all smell like something you shouldn't be eating, you know? And they're very luxurious feeling. They look really pretty. I get a lot of compliments on them. The one that other people seem to like the most on me um, is also my favorite one, which isn't always how that works, by the way. Um, <laughs> and this is Tiramisu. I actually have a home base one and a purse one because that's how much I wanted it you know, and use it on a regular basis that I wanted it in my life. That is also what I am wearing over my Kat Von D lipstick today. So I'd love to hear what your favorite lip product is. Maybe so I can try it, but um, <laughs> that is pretty much it, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.